welcome to the 2022 Steel and Sons Cup Final. It really is a David and Goliath one today, as Don Murray faced Bangor. Yes, indeed, as Janice just said, there, it really is a David and Goliath affair. Don Murray will start obviously very much as underdogs. Bangor is the clear favourites, however, uh, fairy tales can be made, and who knows who's going to win the trophy at the end of the day. It is Christmas after all, Colin. You can never tell. You never tell. <laughs> anyway, let's see how the game turned out. But before that, let's hear from the managers of both sides. I'm excited to get this far as in today because it's been a long week waiting on it and we're preparing for it. But um, no, I think the, the, the squad, we trained really well this week. We prepared um, as good as we can um, and the players are focused. So as I said, it couldn't have come quick enough. We're really looking forward to it. Oh, we're excited and glad to be here. Uh, fantastic setup uh, down here at Crusaders. You know, uh, prestigious final. So listen, we're all just looking forward to it now. It's eventually here. You know, we played three weeks ago in the semi-final, and uh, we've just been looking forward to the day from then. So glad it's finally here. Actually, I think if you find every league game we go into, we're sort of favourites, and the boys have handled it really well. I think our mentality's very good at the minute. Um, as I said, we'll handle that no problem. Yes, listen, we've been the underdogs in every round. Um, you know, from the very first round in this competition, nobody gave us a chance. So we've just went out every game to prove the doubters wrong. Um, and we're certainly not coming here today to roll over and let Bangor have their way. Um, they're going to be in for a game, and that's our job to, to make sure that they don't get dizzy. And we'll have a game plan, we'll stick to it, and hopefully it's enough. We've won it a few times. It's it's been something on my wish list at the start of the season. Unfortunately, we got beaten the semi-finals last year and it left a big scar on us. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a prestige tournament. It's, everyone talks about it. The publicity the club's got um, over the last couple of weeks from getting here, it's fantastic what they've done throughout the years, this tournament really, really is, and, and to get the crowds they get. and. Um, I think it's a really joy. It's a joy to be here and a pleasure. Oh, listen, as I said in previous interviews, about Christmas miracle. Uh, you know, to be here the day, like I think there's two and a half thousand tickets, whatever sold, and you know, it's 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 to win it's stuff that dreams are made of. Um, especially for the fans. You know, the fans have been through a hard time in this club the last decade, probably. Um, so now to give them something to look forward to at Christmas Day. A final alone is a big thing for the club, but if we were to go that next step and actually win it, it would be mean the world to a lot of people.
David, firstly, congratulations. Can you sum up that feeling? No, not really. I think, you know, you, you come into these matches always wanting to win and hoping to win, but I think it never really... You, you have to play the team up in front of you and you want to make sure they, they're in it to win it as well. So it, it's always a, a great, great feeling. And the first time they've ever won it is unbelievable. And especially the way the, the game went, it was not an easy one. But I think we always believe that we're going we're gonna to get a goal in it, yeah. You said, Can you sum up that feeling? Ah, buzzing, sort of. Look what it means to everyone here. Absolutely brilliant, sort of. And what was the feeling in the camp when you went down by one goal? How did then, you turn well, it around? I was, I was just saying, on that again. Then when we got the one, I just knew that was it. And we could have had two or three after it. Okay. Yeah, obviously respect to Murray. They've done well the last two rounds to get in and they've defended really well. Um, but I think playing for Bangor and the way we've been playing the last few weeks and months, we know we'll always get a goal. We know we'll always get another chance to score. So it was just trying to keep composed and, and believe we'll get we'll get a chance. And I knew we would get one. And I think with the goal, then the momentum was on us to go and, and, and win the game. And was there a lot of pressure going into this game because you were obviously the clear favourite? I didn't feel the pressure until the day. I couldn't sleep last night and then... When we got on the pitch, I was like, oh, here. I said, there is a bit of pressure here, but when you get going and you get into it, you're all right. Even since I've come to the club, the fans have been one of the most important and best parts of it. They, wherever we're playing, home or away, they're always there cheering you on. And it was amazing. I think we knew in the build-up there was going to be many here. So it was amazing to see the place so full with um, even Dunmurray fans as well. But it was brilliant to see a place packed out with Bangor fans. And that always gives you a lift as well, here and them championing you on. It was like an extra player, so it was brilliant. Right. And then, what do you sum up the atmosphere? The crowd was electric today. Ah, they were brilliant, so they were. And it's even going to be better in the bar after now. No, I can't wait for And that concludes our coverage of the 2022 Steel and Sons Cup final between Dunmurray and Bangor. Congratulations to Bangor, who are the victors. Yes, indeed. No Christmas miracle Anna, here at Seaview, as the Murray have lost. However, they did play their part in what was a very entertaining final. We wish you all a very merry, festive season, and give us a follow on social medias if you don't already. Until the next time, from 1880 Video. It's bye for now.